Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about training plateaus. I received a question from one of our subscribers. He said he's been working out for a while now and he's not growing, he's not seeing any results. He wants to know what he's doing well. Now, what happens is because you've been working out for a while. Imagine before you started working out, your muscles are not stimulated. Um, you weren't eating right, you know, your, your lifestyle that you have right now was a different lifestyle before. So because since you've been working out for a while and you've been eating a certain way, your body has adapted to whatever you're doing. You're still training the same way, you're still eating the same way, doing the same amount of repetition, doing the same amount of sets. So what happens after all these weeks or maybe all these months, your body has gotten used to what you're doing. So you basically hit the wall. So now, in order for you to break that wall, you have to bring change into your training and your nutrition. With your training program, let's say for example, you, you walk in your biceps and then you normally do two exercises for your biceps. First of all, you do maybe a common bicep exercise like dumbbell curls. You do 15 repetitions of three sets. And then you go to a pressure curl. You're doing maybe 12 repetitions of three sets and you leave. So what happens because you've been doing this maybe for about three, four, five, six, or maybe seven weeks. So your body now has gotten used to your training system. It's gotten used to your dynamic. So in order for your body to change, you have to bring change into your workout regimen. So the way you bring change into your workout regimen is by tr changing your training dynamics. Instead of doing straight up sets like you've been doing before, you want to do supersets, for example. A superset will be combining two bicep exercises together in one, in one um, training session. I'll say, for example, instead of doing a, a bicep curl, standing bicep dumbbell curl, and finish the, finishing that set and going to an exercise, another bicep exercise, what you want to do is combine those two exercises together. You can combine a preacher curl and a standing dumbbell curl together. So you do maybe 15 repetitions of a standing barbell curl right away without resting in between. You go to a preacher curl and do 12 or maybe 15 repetitions. That will be a set. So that's a training change. So before your body will only do single exercise for a few amount of repetition for a few amount of sets. Now you're combining two exercises together in one set. So that way your body is going to notice, your muscles are going to notice the change and they're going to react accordingly. Another example is by doing what I call a drop set. Um, a drop set is example if I'm doing a lat pull down and I, I'm doing, let's say I warm up and I get to about maybe 80 pounds. Um, when I get to 80 pounds, I do about maybe 8 reps, then I drop the weight down from 80 to 60, I do 12 reps, I drop the weight down from 60 to 40, and I do about 15 or maybe 20 repetitions. That's a different, another different dynamic that you can use to shock your muscle. And remember, in order for your muscles to keep reacting, you have to keep bringing a new system, a new change, a new variation into your workout. So if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, your muscles are not going to change anymore because the muscle, our muscles adapt very fast. So what you want to do, like I said, is bring some changes into your training regimen. That will be for the training part of your plateau. And when it comes to the nutrition part of your plateau, um, now you have to remember you've been training for a while, um, you've lost some body fat, maybe you've lost a few weight here and there, you've built some muscle, your muscle density is a little bit higher now. So the more muscle you have, the more food you have to eat. So basically, in order for you to keep growing, now you have more space into your, in your muscle fibers. So in order for you to get bigger, in order for you to keep losing muscle fiber, in order for you to keep gaining muscle and losing muscle uh, body fat, or if your goal is to train for strength, in order for you to keep continuing gaining strength, you have to basically increase the amount of um, carbs that you eat. You have to increase the amount of protein that you eat. Um, maybe increase the amount of fats that you eat. When I say increase, I'm talking about little increments here and there. Um, let's say maybe you normally eat about six egg whites, you know, when you first started. 
and now because you have more muscle now, so you want to eat about maybe eight, eight egg whites, uh, maybe 10 egg whites, depending on, on your muscle mass and depending on how much growth you want. So this, this is what you need to bring into your training regimen so you can be able to keep seeing improvement because if you're not seeing improvement after you've worked out for a while, that means your body has plateaued. Now it's time for you to break down that wall by bringing some changes into your training. You know, in order for you to see changes, you have to bring new action. You know, as they always say, every new action create a new reaction. So now when you bring those new actions into your workout, I guarantee you that you're going to see some changes. Your muscles are going to be different. You Maybe you're going to be a little bit stronger. You can lift a little bit more because now you're feeling your muscle a little bit better to be able to see growth. And so there you have it. In order for you to break that plateau, make some changes, bring some variations into your training program and make some adjustment with your nutrition. Thank you.